We got this email from Graham Parker. He's the president of Decca Gold. He's followed my music for quite some time, and he wanted to see if he could meet. So I thought it was a prank at first. Like I didn't think it's real, but say, hey, why not? And we started discussions of maybe a possible record deal. I had concerns. I'm like, you know, it all sounds exciting, but I have limitations. We were able to get a line of the contract that I can say no to anything that doesn't agree with me halakhically or shkafically. The team went out looking for different producers and they called me that we found a producer. This is definitely the producer for you. His name is John Cohen. We'd go on a video call and he mentioned something. Well, I read your bio, said something about bells. I am connected to bells. I'm like, what do you mean you're connected to bells? He's like, so anyway, he, do he doesn't know. He remembers hearing the name bells. So when we came to the studio, a few weeks later, when we started working on the project, he, started, he brought pictures of his grandparents, and they were wearing a strimal and, you know, Bekesha with beards, like real Hasidic Levish. So he sent me an email with the whole yichas of his mother's side. Yeah, I'm not the best genealogist. My brother is great at it, so I forwarded him. So he calls me 10 minutes later, who is this person? Like, why? This person has more yichas than any person in Bar Park, Williamsburg that has a shul. He's a uh, grandson of the, the Mittler Belzer Rebbe, which is much more recent, which is more unusual to be uh, a grandson. Granddaughter of the Bradichev, Lavitzchik Bradichev, got in touch with me. She almost converted to Islam for her husband, and she just bumped into one of my videos on YouTube, and just she remembered. And she's now trying to get a little closer. You know, I had a friend send her over um, Shabbos candles. Music can reach people everywhere, and she help them connect. Not only in the Jewish world, there's a different people from all different religions and different backgrounds say that it inspired them. It has the power to do that and it opens dialogue, it builds bridges. We got the opportunity to do the baseball games, which with the connection with Universal and coming into such a place where you see tens of thousands of people being who I am, the way I look, just go onto the field and singing. And there's a moment there where everyone forgets of who they are, of what group they are and we're all Americans we're all here to just enjoy the game and there's a certain sense of unity at right then and there and we're before the game and after the game people from all walks of life all different types will be cheering you on and saying what a great rendition that was I've been to games for so many years this is the best rendition I've heard I work here in the stadium for 20 something years and it's nothing about anything it's just about that and it's about connecting one person to the other and that's an amazing feeling